Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on October 9th, 2022. Welcome to another Surviving Day on the Planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, and as well, earthquakes, volcanoes, and a look at world weather. Taking a look here at the last 48 hours on our sun, very large, bright, active region, earth-facing, getting ready to turn away a couple minor sunspots following that. Other than that, most of the action has been on the backside. We've only seen minor C-class flares from that bright region. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming. Watching on the left-hand side. A lot of activity is building and cresting around. Outgoing, there's a lot of plasma across the surface of the sun right now. Turning away. The other day we had that large plasma tornado. You can still kind of see it on the right-hand side there. But a very active sunspot region. There seems to be three sunspots within that very bright region. Earth-facing right now, looking at multi-spectrum. Dark lined regions are your plasma filaments stretching across the surface. And you can really see here under this light, the coronal holes, which are the darkened regions. And there's not many coronal holes earth facing right now. A little one in the northern hemisphere developing and as well southern turning away. Another quick look here at our sun, the last 48 hours. No. Amazing imagery brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory. Another look here with a filter that I put on to it, a little easier on the eyes. Closer look at the cresting region right here, southern parts of our sun. Very active, an antipode to what is turning away. Having a look at the solar X-ray flux remains in C range after seeing a C4 class range solar flare today. Geomagnetic activity remains KP4 level and has for the last few hours. This is the space weather event that we were expecting from that large plasma filament the other day. Closer look here at Lasco 3 or Lasco 2, I mean, showing all of the space weather our sun has produced, just seeing most recently there, a pretty sizable CME. Quick look at our solar winds as we're being hammered and sustained at about 600 kilometers per second per average right now. Very active wind stream indeed. Pressure, lots of it. So we can expect an increase in seismicity around the world. And we did already see a 6.2 Easter Island. Real-time solar winds were sitting at about 575 kilometers per second. As I said, after being up and jagged, right around 600 kilometers per second. Temperature, 7. Looking at the ISWA Space Prediction Spiral, showing a small event taking off towards the BEPI satellite and Venus. But also on the right-hand side, showing all the space weather coming our way. Schumann resonance for today is another seven low frequencies all week long here. Good quality power. Now let's get to earthquakes the past 24 hours as we're sitting at just under 200 earthquakes across the USGS map. Notable earthquakes here all around the same magnitude 4.5 there Russia just recently 4.6 NAMI Japan. 4.7 there, Bonin Islands region as well, 4.4 Philippines. Lots of activity through the Banda Sea area and eastern Indonesia. 4.7 Chapos region that is off the Somalia plate as well, a sizable 5.2 in Greece, in Tikia, Greece. Deep earthquakes for the past 24 hours, ranging from 450 to 583 kilometer depth. Fiji.
and Alaska has seen quite a bit of activity as well, right around the same magnitude, fours and up, 4.3 co F and Cove, Alaska, right to Attu Station, 4.2 there, and Rat Islands, 3.7. Largest earthquake past 24 hours was this, 6.2, Central Mid-Atlantic Ridge, so just west of Ascension Islands. South America, way too quiet. Only major earthquake to report 4.2 there today. And as well, quiet through the Caribbean. And that's not usual. So something's brewing. Looking here, notable earthquake, Tennessee, 2.5, New Madrid. And no major earthquakes across the West Coast right now. Going through a quiet lull of earthquakes past 24 hours. So heads up. Let's have a quick look at the last seven days across the planet. As we've had some pretty deep earthquakes in the last three days. Most of them have been in the last three days. So we are expecting a larger shallow earthquake to follow. And that is just based on what we've seen and the habits of the way seismic seismicity works. And of course, the way our plates are shifting around the world going through some big changes together and I appreciate all of you watching and staying aware and prepared with daily events worldwide much love and be ready big changes are coming and our world knows it now let's get to the Pacific Disaster Center showing the most recent satellite imagery and as well pointing out the most recent volcanoes getting updated looking at Nevada's de Ruiz in Colombia Katmai in the United States. Now that's through the Aleutian Islands. And just in a couple days ago, I had noted, watch for a volcano to possibly show signs of an eruption. Katmai is the guy, United States through Alaska. So another new volcano awakening. We've got Swiss and Ajima in Japan, Reventador in Ecuador, Nishinashima in Japan, Sange in Ecuador. Many flood alerts, over 250 hazards here. Popopacatitl in Mexico. As well as Sabancaya in Peru, Nevados to Chilean, Colombia. A quick browse at the last 48 hours of satellite imagery across the world. One tropical storm here through the Caribbean, heading into Guatemala. Hurricane Julia is alive, but nothing greater than a Category 2. Still observing that large low in the Pacific Ocean. And as well, lots of cloud cover parts of Eastern Australia. Continued long monsoon rains for Southeast Asia. We've also got tropical cyclone Belita, who in the long range will be heading towards Australia, Western parts of Australia. Overlooking Africa and parts of Europe. Central low there, right over the Black Sea. Now let's get to, Earth, to weather here. A little five-day forecast brought to you by Venture Sky and Mike with Daily Events Worldwide. Having a quick look here at Big Low that is heading towards the Atlantic provinces right now. And it is bringing snow on the backside. Watch for that trough line to get deeper and deeper south all week long. We've got maybe one more heat spell. It got up to 16 degrees, 16 degrees today. But by Wednesday, Thursday next week, that big low from the Hudson Bay will be coming in. Watch for a lot of rain along the trough line and as well a lot of snow through parts of northern Ontario. Rain coming through parts of northern BC in the long range. A little bit of relief. But snow moving through Manitoba by next weekend. And then watching these lows come up into central BC coast. Looks like in the long range, maybe the 22nd or 23rd, you're finally going to see a large low on your doorstep for parts of BC and Washington. And as well, another big low here developing in the long range coming out of the Gulf and most likely will bring some torrential downpours and extreme weather 
through the Gulf states. South America, no major weather affecting you. One tropical system here to talk about, as I said, Julia. Heading straight west across Guatemala and then into the East Pacific. Watch for a low here to develop next weekend for the United States. And then watch that trough line dip all the way down to Florida. Very cool temperatures associated with that system coming from the Hudson Bay. As I said, it came from Siberia, our new polar vortex. Ushered in by the new polar vortex. Having a look here over Europe. Small systems affecting central parts. Most of the rain and weather is towards the United Kingdom. Parts of Sweden. And then watching the long range here. Another low coming into Spain. That is 19th into the 20th. No major typhoons developing in the long range. Just a couple tropical systems. Nothing major just yet. As we all know, things can change drastically with weather. Pretty big system heading into Taiwan by next weekend. And then it may hover around there and regain strength. Head towards the South China Sea. Also got a couple of large lows here heading into Myanmar. Thailand just getting drenched recently. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected by all hazards worldwide. Earthquakes, volcanoes, floods, fires, droughts. Overlooking Australia, you've got a large low moving in by Tuesday and Wednesday. Watch for the trough line to bring quite a bit of unsettled weather to parts of Victoria, eastern, mostly eastern Australia, and then a coastline later in the week. I want to thank everybody for tuning in today. Much love. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your daily due. And again, happy Thanksgiving to all of my Canadian viewers and as well, much love. And I give thanks to all of you watching today worldwide. Much love, over 54,000 followers and many members helping to support this channel. So thank you and good night. Bye-bye. Please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.